Welcome back to Red Raider Weekly. Well, after a five-year absence, the Lady Raiders back in action in the NCAA Championships. The number eight seed in the Spokane region taking on number nine seed, St. John's at Maples Pavilion in Palo Alto. We've got the highlights. We pick it up with Monique Smalls nabbing one of the Lady Raiders' 12 steals. The first attempt is blocked, but the sophomore sticks with the play. The putback is good, and Texas Tech has the early one-point advantage. Now Tech in transition. Tina Wickett with one of her four rebounds, and Smalls is out on the break. She dishes to Casey Morris on the wing. A little shake and bake, splitting two defenders, and gets the floater to fall. Kira Mallard with a nice outing. Here Wickett with a nifty pass to Mallard on the baseline, and the junior finishes with the left hand. The second team All-Big 12 player with 10 points to go along with nine boards in the game. 9-6, Lady Raiders on top. Later, Tech again in transition. China Brown hauls in the rebound and pushes her team out on the break. A wide open floor in front of her, and she finds a six foot three wicket for the bucket at the other end. Eight of the first 12 points in the paint, and it's 12 to six. But the Red Storm puts a run together. Amanda Burakowski with the beautiful pass to Eugenia McPherson on the backdoor cut for the layup. Part of a 9 0 Johnny surge to take the three point lead. The Lady Raiders respond though. Christine Hyde and Jordan Barncastle work the pick and roll at the top of the key and Barncastle nails the open three-pointer. The junior with five of Tech's 21 points off the bench and we're tied at 17. Texas Tech goes cold offensively until Hyde ends a four and a half minute field goal drought. Out in transition, a stutter step moves straight to the rack and leans in for the bucket. The sophomore with six points on the afternoon. A few minutes later, the Lady Raiders down two with under three to play in the half. This time Hyde creating offense for her teammates with the dish inside to Chantel Nobles for the easy layup, the fourth tie of the half, 25 all. Then Nobles does it all herself. The freshman backs down her defender, puts it on the floor, challenges the double team, and drains the 10-footer back-to-back -back buckets. And Tech has its first lead since 1917. With under a minute to play, Morris buries this three from the far corner to cap a 9-0 Texas Tech run and route to a two-point lead at the break. St. John's outscored the Lady Raiders 8-0 over the first three minutes of the second half, including this layup by Sky Lindsay, and the Red Storm break out to a six-point lead. But no quit in the Lady Raiders. Here Morris pokes the ball away as it pinballs around until she finds the handle once again for one of her four steals. She takes it herself straight to the bucket for the lay-in, and Tech is back within a deuce. A minute later, Mallard's jumper rims out, but Barncastle is there for the putback for two of ten second-chance points, a 6-0 Lady Raider run, and we're tied once again, 36-all. It was a game of runs, however, as the Johnnies score nine straight. Keelanta Langley weaves her way around the perimeter and slices in for the layup, and St. John's has its largest lead of the game, 45-36. Once again, though, Texas Tech chips away at the lead. Under a minute to go, Hyde with a full head of steam, straight to the basket, absorbs the contact off the glass, and one. Lady Raiders within six. She misses the ensuing free throw, but Mallard comes up with the offensive board, gets it to hide in the paint. She sticks it in, and all of a sudden, it's a four-point game with 35 ticks remaining. But too little too late as St. John sinks free throws down the stretch, and the Texas Tech comeback falls short. The Lady Raiders finish the season at 22-11. 55-50 is your Saturday afternoon final from Maples Pavilion. Coming up after the break, we'll chat with men's tennis coach Tim Siegel. More Red Raider Weekly coming up next. At Plains Capital Bank, we believe in Texas Tech University. That's why we have made it a priority to support Texas Tech for over 20 years. We've proudly contributed to the Jones Stadium expansion, the new Rawls College of Business, the United Spirit Arena, and the Merkitt Alumni Center expansion. We also created the Plains Capital Presidential Endowed Scholarship. Because at Plains Capital Bank, we know the Red Raiders have the momentum to succeed. <laughs> UMC is the primary teaching hospital for the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. The partnership between UMC and Texas Tech places us at the forefront of medical training and knowledge. It's a place where a team of professionals is committed to your care. As a teaching hospital, UMC is here for you today while training the doctors and nurses of tomorrow. It's my school. It's my team. It's our hospital. It's the dream of being part of something bigger than you. Here is a place where ideas become reality, and reality becomes greater than your imagination. Where research leads to vast discoveries, making the world a better place. Where the pursuit of deeper knowledge reaches untold heights. It's a place where art takes many forms and where tradition reigns. The dream starts with you. Texas Tech University. From here, it's possible. 